Alright guys, as I was making this video, I realized that I left out the important information at the end. So, uh, basically what I was trying to say is that I'm going to be changing up my content a bit. Um, you know, going towards something that's, you know, more towards everybody instead of just anime YouTubers. I don't want to be that one person like IB Main who only makes YT, uh, you know, anime videos and, you know, it's only for like a, a, a niche group of people. I, I rather my content be enjoyed by more people, so I'm going to be trying to change it up. So this might be my last video like this, but uh, we'll have to see as we go. Anyways, stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Heads nod. I haven't even played this game in forever and I piece him up, bro. Two piece right there. Oh, oh no. Oh no, not the noob. Not a noob. Not a noob. Not a noob. Alright y'all, we're back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to get sun breathing with five locations in Demon Slayer Burning Ashes. Um, first off, yo, um, there's going to be no game audio. I recorded this like twice before and like the game audio was like so overpowering. If like, like if I keep it on one, like the audio is like way too loud on recording. I don't know why this game's audio is like so boosted, but uh, yeah, they got to fix that. Um, but anyways, um... Uh, sorry about not uploading a lot. I've been busy online school. Y'all get how it is. But anyways, we're gonna start off in the main village. So in the main village, you know, this is where you spawn at. You got the swordsmith, you got the villager, right? So this area near the villager and elder villager, you're gonna want to run out of the village. You're gonna take that exit and enter through this cave entrance. Oh, the demon tried to snipe me. Nice try. Um, you're gonna try, you're gonna go through this little cave entrance thing right here. And this tree in your final selection is where you're going to find your first, or some of you will be able to find your earring. So, uh, this is the first of the five locations. Um, make sure to pay attention as I walk through these places. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the village. Don't Okay, so now um, in the village, we're gonna go to the second location. The second location is directly behind Ren Goku. I will show you guys what exactly I mean by that. Don't go through that cave because it's just gonna confuse you. Um, Ren Goku is right here. So the cave, I mean, the little hill that I'm talking about, it's right behind Ren Goku. It's that little out. You see the little outline for the for the area. This is where this is where it is. So. Um, oof, oof. So the second location would be right here. This is where the second location is. It's gonna be uh, right next to this huge thick rock, directly behind Ren Goku. All right. So this thick rock right behind Ren Goku. Okay. Oh, okay, anyway. So for the third location, we're going instead of going this way for the second location. For the third location, we're gonna take this other way. So we're gonna walk around this uh, wall right here. And we're gonna enter the second portion of the village. So if you see Suyuri, you're going the right way. Uh, oh shoot, I'm a strong demon. But you're gonna see um, Gyome, and behind Gyome's house, you're gonna find the third location for our area today. Oh god, the strong demon. Oh no, 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 no. See, this is what I hate about this game, bro. This thing targets like anything that moves. Okay. Alright, so anyways, so we've got someone taking care of that for us. Anyway, so this is where you're going to find the third location. So back, or we're going to go and head back to the village. So I can show y'all the fourth location. So the fifth location is going to be, uh, you know, it's kind of similar to where we're going to be right in front of uh, the final selection cave. But instead, we're going to walk to the food cellar. So the food cellar, I'm pretty sure most of y'all should know where the food cellar is. If not, it's fine. Uh, I'll show you guys where it is anyways. The food cellar is right here. His name's Toyo. And uh, Toyo is going to be selling y'all some really, uh, you know, some, some good food. But that's not what I'm here to show y'all. The earring is going to be right under the wheel of his cart, back behind his cart. Okay, so behind the cart, you'll be able to see the earring. That is the fourth location for today, and now for the fifth location, I'm not going to go back to the village because uh, it's actually, the, the fifth location is actually uh, in a really weird position near here, um, and actually for me, in this server, it's actually where the earring is for the server. 
I'm actually about to show you guys. The earring is actually going to be, let me go back to the food seller guy. It's gonna be on that tree right here, this tree. This the, a weird looking tree, um, this is like I guess a co another copy of it, but this is the tree we're going to be looking for. And it's going to be pretty hard to get, I don't know why they made it like this, but if you go under the tree and look inside of it, boom, that's the earring right there. As you guys can see, if you don't know what the earrings look like, this is what the earring looks like. This is what you're going to be looking for. I thought if I can get my camera to focus, this is what you're going to be looking for. So anyways guys, these are the five locations, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, make sure to leave a thumbs a thumbs up, you know, comment, you know, and uh, just let me know that you appreciate the video, I've been getting a bunch of comments saying you guys need another video, so here I am, and uh, fulfilling uh, that, uh, you know, the request, so uh, you guys have a good one, and uh, I'll see you later, stay tuned.